Are you trying to replace old habits with new, more empowering habits that serve you? Following the advice of James Clare, there are four things you want working for you. If you want to build a good habit, a good system of habits. These four things can be levers that you pull as much as you want when you need to. The more that you have these four things working for you, the more likely it is that your system or your habits will become established. You want to focus on developing a system, developing a process, rather than trying to achieve a goal or an outcome. You don't rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. Wise words from James Clare. Now goals do have their uses. They can set direction and develop clarity and goals can filter whether something gets you closer or further than where you want to be. Now think about what exactly you are optimising for. What is it that you're doing what you're doing for? And your collection of daily habits there equals to the system that you are creating for yourself. Remember that if there's a gap between your system and your goal, your daily habits will win out. Your current habits are perfectly designed to deliver your current results. Your life bends in the direction of your habits. Who's the type of person you want to be? What's the identity you want to lead? What is the system that is inevitably carrying you towards the identity that you want to lead, that reinforces the person you want to become? So, to James Clear's recommendations for a successful system. One, your environment design. You need to create really obvious cues for your habits so that you prompt the behaviour that you are wanting to achieve. What will catch your attention and make you do what you wish to do? Make your cues as obvious as possible. What habits does your environment encourage? What habits do you want your environment to enable? Two, your habit needs to be attractive. The more appealing the habit is, the more excited you will be to do it and the more motivated you will feel to follow it through. Make your new habit so attractive and appealing so that you can't not be motivated to do it. Three, make it easy, make it convenient, make it frictionless, make it simple. The more simple the habit is to do, the more likely it is that you will do it. The more likely it is that it will be performed. And four, make it satisfying. Your habit needs to be fulfilling and make you feel like you've accomplished something. There's no better feeling, is there, than when you accomplish something, however small. If you want to break a bad habit, then inverse the four levers. So rather than make it obvious, make it invisible. Make it unattractive. Make it difficult. Increase friction and add steps. Make it unsatisfying and add a cost or a consequence to the bad habit. So back to James Clare and his wise words. Every action you take is a vote for the kind of person you want to become. What kind of person 